Hi everybody, I'm Jim, the Hippie Redneck Geek, and this is about moving the house. Um, if you haven't seen uh, the video about the fire, I'll put it up here somewhere, up here somewhere, I don't know exactly where. Um, but uh, the fire, we didn't lost the house, we had to have another house moved in here. And uh, so this is about that move. Um, so this picture right here is um, the um, the footings uh, from from up by the road here. Uh, you see, you can see the footings here. Um, at some point in time in the future, we're going to see something about this pine tree right here. Um, it uh, fell on the house ten years later, uh, but uh, we'll get to that point when we get uh, when we get there. Um, so. Um, I'm going to go do, through the pictures here a little bit to see uh, about what was going on. Um, this is a little bit closer picture of the foundation here. Um, so uh, this um, uh, right here, the deck here. This is the deck that was off the, uh, the old house. Um, it was uh, it was still in good shape. It was just taken knocked off and being pushed back away off of the uh, um Stands, the stands that was holding it up, uh, that it stood up off the ground on. And over here is the front porch that was at the old house. And uh, we're actually going to reuse both of those right there. Um, uh, and uh, put them, attach them back to the house uh, whenever the house, new house is put in place here. Um, this is uh, from the, the foundation from a uh, um, different uh, view here. Uh, this dirt over here is dirt they take and use. They're going to use to actually backfill all this in here because this is cut down uh, right about three feet below uh, level here. Uh, so when the footings come in here, the foundation there'll be three foot of crawl space here under the house, and they have to backfill all this here in um, uh, because this is cut cut away from there uh, three about three or four foot away from the uh, footings. And uh, so we can go on here. This is a little bit closer look at the uh, the footings that are in place here. It's uh, it had rained since they taken put the several times since they had put the uh, footings down here, and so there's a lot of dirt and stuff that eventually has to get cleaned out of here uh, before uh, continuing on. And uh, got lucky. I got a Google photo, uh, Google uh, satellite picture image here of the. Um, of the uh, um, footings uh, before uh, before it went on to and got a, uh, the house put in there. Um, so this is the house before it was ever moved. This is actually, uh, it's on a full basement here. Um, the property slides off back here, drops down here, and there's actually a, a garage entrance underneath the house. And this is on a full basement. Unfortunately, it's not going to be on full basement on my property. Uh, we'll make uh, some modifications as a result of it. Um, they had to cut the, the porch here, the porch roof off here to, to, to move it because the, the cantilever here was not going to be able to support it. So they had to cut this here off. Um, all the brick here had to come off. All the, the, the chase, all this brick here had to come off. Because they could not lift the whole, they could not lift the footings with the brick. Uh, because again, this was on a full basement, therefore the footings went down all the way down another eight feet down to uh, for the full basement. Uh, so the brick was not able to come along with the house, and uh, so they had to pull that off. So and there's the back of the house. Um, they had they did have a deck back here at one point in time right there uh but that was taken off here before uh, that was part of the getting ready to move the house here um and there it is from the carport um so the first part of the move is at night because the one county that uh uh this had to go through here they have a strict time of when um Structures can be moved uh, on the highways, uh, and I think it was like between two, two and four a.m. or two and six a.m. or something, or midnight and four. I don't remember exactly what it was, but uh, a couple of counties that they had a 
time when the Kadigmi moved, so it had to move it at night. And that's really hard to see anything here. Uh, this is, uh, we've got some light here, a little bit of light here. Um, Thanks again the carport here. You can see where, there, where they have um, pulled uh, the brick off here. All the brick is gone and everything. So this is just the, the stick frame house. They've got the house on steel beams that run the length of the house and then beam, beams across to support the house from uh, side to side. And uh, a little bit hard here. There we go. This is going down the highway. Um, this is going down. I believe this is, yeah, this is Highway 20 uh, coming towards Cumming, Georgia. Um, had to come through downtown Cumming on Highway 20. Uh, here we're coming into, into 20. Um, and it's kind of hard to see here. We've got the chase trucks and cop cars uh, so they can keep traffic. Uh, uh, it's a little bit difficult to see here in the dark here, but uh, I take and try to get as best pictures as I could uh, going through here. This is going, uh, making one of the really tight turns they had to make through. Um, they're incoming there at the Wells Fargo. Uh, this is not, um, going right through, that, like I said, going through downtown coming. Um, and this is coming out of coming here uh, on 20 here. And we're a little bit further down the road here. They uh, pull it off, and uh, we um, and they park it for the rest of the night. And they come back at uh, eight o'clock in the morning. And this is them coming in here on uh, my road. Uh, this is coming down my road here where I live, and uh, uh, the lead truck here. They got a chase truck behind it, and there's a uh, police uh, car chase vehicle as well um, so you can see we've got people pulling off the road here so the house can get by um, and here as it comes down here um, note here they have right up here this is uh, one by sixes they have spread over here so basically as it goes under as this drops over it goes under uh, um, electrical cables or whatever cables run across the road this year it catches on the shit of light, slide, it brings it up to over the roof and runs it down over the roof so that it doesn't catch the front of the house. So that's basically just to, to lift cables up on top of the house so it moves over the top of the house instead of into the front of the house and ripping, uh, tearing up the house or tearing up the cables going across the street. Let's see here. And here I am standing down here uh, in my driveway uh, waiting for it to come by. Uh, as it passes by, you can see um, you can see the um, um, uh, steel beams here underneath here, where they have the shirt on uh, under here. Uh, you see, even with these big, massive steel beams, this house does flex those steel beams a bit. Um, and, uh, and they had to go past my driveway. Uh, uh, and uh, turn around because they were facing the wrong direction and uh, they have to go down down the road here back it up back it into the other uh, into this other road to turn it around and bring it back and uh, here they are getting everything ready so they can uh, turn it they've got an electric pole here they got a tree over there that they got to get it past and uh, these guys were pretty good here. They've got it in there to a tight area in some soft dirt that uh, uh, I would have never thought been able to get fit in there. Um, here they are taking, starting to make the turn to back it down the hill. And uh, and this is 70 foot of trailer, uh, 70 foot long, 30 foot wide house here that they're moving. And uh, there it goes off, starting down the hill. And uh, here they got uh, this this truck here. It's got a winch on it and everything. They're using it to help this your truck. Because you can see how soft the ground is here, where the, the front, front tires are just sinking in the ground here. 
and they're having troubles with moving it. So using this other truck here to help move the truck around and get it into place. And uh, something is wrong here with uh, my tool because there were supposed to be more pictures show up here. Hold on while I take and stop this and I'm going to go back and find out where these other pictures are, what's going on. Okay, I don't know what was going on here, but hopefully I got it fixed now. Uh, so, as I said, uh, they're backing it down. And there we go. There we got the next one. So, now they're put, put backing it into place here. Uh, where this is uh, over the uh, footings here. And some more pictures of them backing it down and uh, going across the footings. <coughs> now these guys are pretty good here. They can get, they get this thing spun around, get across the footings here, and they back it up into place. Uh, this is from the other side, from behind it as it's coming down, and uh, they're setting it up. They back it down into place here, and literally right over the footings with and they don't have any room for air to where this is placed. They back it up here, um, just a, a, a little bit past uh, the footings, uh, pull it forward and stop it literally right on a dime. There could not have been uh, a, an inch or two off of where it's at. And uh, I'm gonna show you again here. This is uh, where they have that board come down here so they can, so that the electrical wires will can come up and they can just skate over the top of the roof without catching on the front of the, the uh, house. And, and they get bringing it into place. And we're back to this beginning here. Um, I want to show some more pictures here, but again, this thing is messing up here. Let me stop this again and see if I can figure out where that problem is, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. I'll eventually learn how to use the software to make my videos a little bit better, but it's a learning process, and uh, so then once they've Got it in here. This is them put the this uh, they're putting the the block, block foundation on top of this here. The steel beams you can still you can see the uh, steel beams. There's uh, this one here going across uh, from side to side here uh, supporting it. They've got to leave a gap here in the foundation here. Uh, where is that? Um, we've gone through and after they put it all the brick in here, we have went through and painted it. Uh, put uh, um, dry lock or whatever that's called the waterproofing paint uh, for concrete here to help uh, keep uh, you know any water come from coming through the brick or the block and everything uh, and uh, then this is it from the other end here as you can see this is uh, the um, steel beams coming out here that go the length of it once they uh, uh, once all the block here is ready here, uh, the back to the block is, at this point is ready, they come out, uh, lower the house uh, down and everything so that it is setting on the foundation, strap it, uh, strap it in, and they pull their beams out and it is in place. Um, so this finishes this video here. We do some work. Actually, let me just go ahead. I believe I have pictures of us doing that work. Hold on just one second, and I'll add that into this video here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so this is, we're putting up Tyvek on the house. Uh, unfortunately, could not afford to put brick back on the house at the time, so we're putting up, uh, going to be putting up uh, a cheap um, side uh, siding uh, temporarily until uh, I'm able to afford to, to put the brick on the house. So this is us uh, wrapping the house with Tyvek. Um, You know, as we see, we've taken, put uh, put um, paneling up here, uh, OSB 
to uh, on, on the garage where they had the where it was uh, just mostly pretty open and where they can cover it with OSB. Um, and we got now we got the paneling up here. This is a this is a the paneling we put up here. It's um, some cheap fiberboard. I'm not sure exactly sure paneling exterior grade paneling um, that we put up for short term and we did that <coughs> excuse me mm, I felt good um, so we have that uh, around the house um, completed around the house uh, we had to um, had to close in up here the this area here for the where the porches this was wide open here the insides we just put up uh, uh, we closed it off so that it uh, um, until we can add the porch onto it and this is uh, the carport here uh, where we had to backfill with uh, gravel uh, and dirt and uh, get everything prepped for the concrete to uh, be laid into it um, more work here on on the front of the house as we're working on trim and such uh, and there's the back of the house there's the uh, the deck here where we we actually took the deck that was that here we took it into part we took all the decking off of it and took the framing and uh, and put it back up on put it up on uh, uh, and and rebuilt the uh, uh, the structure underneath and put it all back together uh, and uh, that's a 20 by 20 deck uh, this is from the other side and, uh, as we can get things put into place uh, and the uh, carport with the concrete freshly laid and uh, we're done with the video um, thank you for sticking around for this video and uh, again this is all a result of the fire that was in a previous video uh, please uh, click subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to see what uh, follow along of uh, what happens uh, we'll be putting out uh, weekly videos uh, to follow along up until we get up to present day where we'll actually start actually having videos right now most of it is all we're just going to be going through pictures of uh, things that have happened over the last 10 years to get us up to date so I hope you enjoyed uh, I'm hit Jim the hippie redneck geek and uh, again please subscribe and uh, click the notification bell for the next video thank you